types of methods. So we basically have two types of methods in Java. The first one is standard library methods. And the second one is user-defined methods. So Java, of course, has a library of predefined classes and methods organized into packages. Now, in order to use these methods, we'll import the packages and use them directly in our program. We will cover packages uh, in the next few slides. But let me just give you a quick example right now. Um, remember the first Java program that we wrote together? We used the print method to write hello world on the screen. Well, the printed method is just an example of a standard library method. Then, of course, in addition to using Java predefined methods, we could always write our own methods. In order to write a method, first you decide what you need to do. Uh, then you write the definition of the method by providing the return type, name of the method, and the parameters. For example, the add number method that we defined in the previous slide is an example of user-defined methods. Method return types. So every method in Java returns something, right? Either some value or nothing. If it returns a value, this value can be either primitive or non-primitive. The void keyword allows us to create methods which do not return a value. These methods perform a set of tasks without a return value. So when a method does not return a value, it's indicated by the keyword void before the name of the method. If you declare a method with primitive types, your return type method must be the same, right? So primitive methods return char, byte, short, int, long, boolean, float, and double types. If you declare a method with non-primitive types, your return type of method must be the same, right? Makes sense. Non-primitive methods return reference data types such as object of class, string, stuff like that. So why don't we do some examples with methods? In the exercise project, right-click on the source folder and select New Class. Specify the package name as Method and the class name as Method Example. And then select the checkbox for main method. Now outside the main method, let's declare a static void method. Show with two int parameters, num1 and num2. And then we add the print method to display these numbers. So let's add a comment to the void method, show, and our comment is displays numbers. And now let's declare an other static int method, add with two int parameters, num1 and num2, and what does it return? It returns the sum of two numbers. All right, so in the method, we declare a variable sum with int type, now, its initial value is 0. And then we assign num1 plus num2 as an expression to the variable sum. And we return the variable sum. So now let's add a comment to the int method, add. And our comment is returns the sum of two numbers. So now let's declare another static int method, min, with two int parameters, num1 and num2, and it returns the minimum of two numbers. 
Now in the method, we'll declare a variable min with int type. And if number one is greater than number two, then we assign num2 to variable min, else we assign num1 to variable min. And then we return the variable min. So now let's add a comment to the int method min. And our comment is returns the minimum of two numbers. Okay, so now let's call these methods from the main method. So our main method is static. So what does that mean? We have to declare the other methods as static in order to use it in the main method. So first, we need to import the scanner class for getting input from the user. And we choose import scanner class in java.util package in order to import the scanner class. And then we show a message to enter two numbers by using the print method. So let's declare two variables that are named number one and number two, and then assign the next int methods of the scanner class to these variables. Now first we'll call the void method show. We pass number one and number two as a parameter to this method. Now there's no need to assign the void method to a variable because the void method returns nothing. So secondly, we call the int method add. We pass number one and number two as a parameter to this method. Then we assign the add method to the new variable a with the int And for the last one, we will call another int method, min. We pass number one and number two as the parameter to this method. And we assign the min method to the new variable b with int type. So now let's write the print methods. In the first print method, we display sum of numbers. And in the second print method, we display the minimum number. Okay, so let's run the code. And we enter 8 and 12 First, the void method show is called and it prints, you entered 8 and 12. Perfect. Then the int method add is called and it prints, the sum of numbers is 20. And the last one, another int method min is called and it prints, the minimum number is 8. So there you go, it works, huh?